Hi there, my name is Charity Tay and I'm going to be sharing with you today um, a really fun, sweet eyeshadow. I'm going to start by setting my lids, which have already been primed with my concealer. I'm using a translucent setting powder. You can use a um, skin tone eyeshadow or a pressed powder as well. Here's my Mascara Beauty Compact. You can see in here, these are all the colors I'm going to be using. This is the Blend and Tap brush, and this is the Eyeshadow Everything brush. I'm starting with a cream eyeshadow. This is called Spiced. And I'm using the domed shaped end of the Blend and Tap brush, and I'm gonna sweep this all over the lid and into the crease. I am adding a little bit on my lower lash line as well. Now I'm switching brushes, going to the eyeshadow everything brush into the fluffy end, and I'm gonna go into a color called Coco. This one, just take a very little amount, tap it off, and start on my outer corner, and I'm working in. And I'm just gonna place this into the crease and blending out that spiced eyeshadow. This step takes quite a bit of time. You want to slowly build. You don't want to go in really heavy with this color. It's going to get splotchy and not look very good if you apply too heavy to begin. You can go in with your foundation brush and clean up at the end. Just keep building it until you get the color that you want. Now I'm going to the flat end of the Blend and Tap brush and I'm dipping into a color called Ginger. I'm only going on the side of the brush and then I'm gonna place it right where I want it on my outer corner. And I'm just gonna kind of tap in place here. I don't wanna move it too much. I wanna keep this on my lid. You can see here I got a little bit up in my crease and that's okay, I'm gonna go fix it with a little bit more cocoa after. But you can see how beautiful ginger is. It's just this coppery shimmer color. Repeat on the other side. And then I'm going to flip my brush over. to the other side of the flat side and I'm going to dip into a color called Crush. I chose this color because I think of Crush Soda. It's kind of orangey and it's really, really pretty. So we're gonna place this on the inner half of my lid and just blend that in. And then I put it on my lower lash line as well. Now I'm tapping in the top side of this that flat end and I'm just going to place it right under my lash line, just giving a little bit more sparkle. This really helps and allows the eyes to pop. Now I'm just going in with my foundation brush. This is when you can clean up and it makes it really, really easy, especially when you're using cream foundation. You always want to make sure your eyeshadows are lifted. Now I'm going in with an illuminator. This is called Dulce. I'm using the small end of the eyeshadow everything brush. And I'm going to put this on my brow bone and the inner corners. And this is a cream illuminator. It's my favorite cream illuminator. It's so pretty. It's like a golden shimmer. And it really highlights my brow bone and cut creates lift as well as opens up my inner corners of my eye.
double check you are completely blended and you don't need to touch up anywhere. This side of my eye always tends to need a extra. <laughs> it doesn't hold color as well as the other side of my eye, which is kind of funny. Now I'm just going to tight line my lash line with a liquid liner. I'm not, I don't really want a heavy eyeliner look. I just want to make my lashes look a little fuller. Now I'm going in with my mascara to complete the look. And I'm gonna go in with my nude eyeliner and I just kind of hit my bottom waterline with this and just, just really opens up the eye. If you wanna make it more drama, you could go in with a dark liner here, but if you wanna open up your eye, Using a nude liner is not as harsh as using like a white liner. I like the nude. And that's it, all done. We've got this candy inspired eyeshadow look.